When you're ready to publish your website, click on the Publish button in the upper right hand corner. Here's where you need to decide what you are going to name your website. If you are making something like a classroom website, I would warn on naming it anything specific like a room number or a school or a subject as these are things that can change throughout the years and you may want to make sure that you're always keeping your website. I'm going to go ahead and try to make this my last name. You'll notice that it tells me that this website name is already taken. You can only have one website with the same name within a domain and even if you're using a personal Gmail account. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a number after this one. And then once I have it, you'll see that it's going to have a check mark here letting me know that this is a website that's available and so I will see my website address right underneath. Next thing you need to decide is who can view your website. If you are using a domain like CCSD, by default it is set up so anyone at Clark County School District can see your published website. However, if you are making a website that you want the public, like parents, to see, you will need to change this. So you're going to left click on the manage and then you'll see the share window comes up that's similar to other Google files. If you are sharing your website with just a specific group of people, perhaps you're making a department website where you only want to share it with the teachers in that department, you can type in their specific emails. Maybe you have a group and you're sharing it only with that group, so you can type in the group email. If you are making a website that's public for anyone to view, then you would come down to the second section and you would click on the word change. First decision you need to make is on the draft. As you make changes to your website, people cannot see those changes until you actually click on the publish button again. But if you prefer for them to see all the changes as you're making them, you can click on the drop down arrow and choose either restricted, which means it's just you right now, or anyone in Clark County, or anyone with the link. This means that whether you click the publish button or not, they're going to see the changes that you're making on your website. I prefer to keep this as restricted for just me and then that way I can click publish when I'm ready for my changes to go live. The second decision is this one here of who actually gets to see it. So as you can see here by default, anyone in Clark County. This is where you need to click on that drop down arrow to change this to the public. This means parents, the community, anybody can view this website. Keep in mind also if you chose that first option at the beginning to share with just a specific group of people or teachers, you would need to change this to be restricted here because you don't want anyone in Clark County seeing it. You want just those specific people that you chose. So we are going to go with the option for public. Once you've made those changes, go ahead and click on done. Then when you are ready, you would click on publish. Before I do that, I want to show one other option. If you are not using a website within a domain, so you're just using a regular Gmail account, notice that these publish setting window is a little bit different. You have the option for a custom URL. You can read more about that here. You can choose to request a public search engines to not display your site. And then you'll see here that this is what the draft option is for editors must review changes before publishing. So it is a little bit different options when you're using a personal Gmail account versus a um, school domain account. So let's go ahead and come back to our school domain and now we are going to click on publish. This is going to publish our website so it's ready for others to view. When you're ready to send your website and share it with others, you'll notice the URL at the top of the website has the word edit at the end. This is not the link that you are sending to people. You need to come down here, you'll see the little link icon. You want to left click on this. That is going to show you the link to your website. You'll notice here it is schmutz3 and then you see a backslash and home. This word home changes each time depending upon what page of your website you're on. So we're going to copy this link and this would be the link that we would share with others that we want to see our website. If you want to view your website at any time, you can copy that link and paste it in a new tab, or you can click on the little drop down arrow, and then you would click on View Publish Site. This will open your website in a new tab, so now you can see you do not see all the edit features. Notice at the top the URL does not have the word edit after it. You as an editor will notice that there's a pencil in the bottom right hand corner. 
People who view your website that are not the actual owners of the website will not see that pencil. All right, I created a second page here, but my viewers will not see it until I come back and click on the Publish button again. When you click Publish, you'll see a couple things on this page. Over to the left, you'll see the changes you made, which this tells me I added a contact page. I see the draft of what the new website's gonna look like, and then it shows currently published that this page was not actually published. So this is a good way to see the changes that you're getting ready to publish. And when you're ready, you click on the publish button again. And now this will publish your changes live. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you again. When I click on this drop down arrow and I go to view published website, notice up here at the top, this schmutz three, and then it says backslash contact. Watch that word contact as I left click to change to the next page of home. You'll see that that at the end, that link at the very end changes to the name of your page. So just keep that in mind as you're copying your link to send to people. If I go onto the contact page and I copy this URL at the top, it's gonna send them specifically to this page. So this is some of the basic features of publishing your website. If at any point you want to unpublish your website, you would click on that drop down arrow and you would choose to unpublish.